Phil. Are you listening? Damn. Hi, welcome back, YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Money. I got some more Weekend League gameplay footage for you. I am so into Weekend League. That is just, you get a good game every time. I just wish that it wasn't like you have to crunch in 25 games in three days. Like, man, that's tough. You know what I'm saying? People got lives, EA. Like, come on, man. Make, like, 20 games is tough. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what EA's deal is with that. I really wish they would like reduce the amount of games or just make it like 15 or something. Like 25 games. Who plays 25 games in three days? You know what I'm saying? Unless it's your job and it's like, you know, between me editing these videos and stuff like that, just watching football. Like people watch football on Sunday. I watch football from morning to night. You know what I'm saying? So, otherwise, I mean, other way, here we go. Um, I got ball first. Uh, that play right there, you're going to see that play quite a bit. Um, but, um, you know, it, it, it's an unstop. I want to say it's unstoppable with the adjustments, but they got to catch the ball. <laughs> that's the only thing. Like, if, if they don't catch the ball, that's an issue. It's also an issue if you get too close to the goal line. You can't really run that too close to the goal line. So, here, we're setting the house on, on defense here. Um, I'll go back to bitching about, about all the games in a minute. But we're, we're setting the house for what reason? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, why am I setting the house? on the second play of the game and i keep doing it too you can see like I'm, I'm doing it over and over and i don't know why this is just i don't even think that was a house blitz but man coverage is so bad and uh, i just give up an easy touchdown so i'm guessing that the previous opponent i played i don't know maybe they were running the ball a lot like sometimes you'll carry a game's previous opponent into the next game and I'm guessing that whoever I was playing was running the ball a lot because that that you know doesn't make sense. So here we go. That that play right up the middle there, you'd be amazed. Like people think like you would think if I put that in the video, like hey, I send a streak right up the center. You would think that people would comment in the comment section. Oh no, the users are gonna be all over that. You'd be amazed at how often users don't cover that route, like right up the middle. Like there he does because he got beat previously. You know what I'm saying? Like like but it just it's it's weird. Like it's it's such an effective. Um, thing just sending it right up the middle. Um, this adjustment I'm making, by the way, is uh, that on that that I made on that last play. That was a cover two adjustment. I'll try to explain it if I run it again. Um, I'm running hurry up here for like I said once again. I don't know if it was the person I was playing last. Um, I think it's because I see him in Tampa two. This is a straight Tampa two adjustment where you basically fade that guy and uh, put that running back into a. Um, you just drop him down to, into a flat and it just destroys Tampa two. I plan on putting out a video about it. But if you're watching this now, you get it early. Uh, but either way, I'm, I'm just running this hurry up because, like I said, I don't want him to leave that Tampa 2. So many people, that Tampa 2 is kind of hard to crack sometimes. And so many people are just shocked uh, when you beat him over the top with that Tampa 2 play. But this here, I don't, like I said, I don't even make that adjustment because I don't think I really have the space uh, to do it on this particular play as I'm running out of time. Actually, I do make that adjustment. I don't know why, though, considering, like I said, I don't really have the space. R1's wide open there, too. Uh, but I step up and I, I thread the needle to uh, square coming over the middle. But like I said, that play, as unstoppable it is, as hard of a puzzle it is to solve, once you get to the goal line, there's no, no space for a lot of the routes. Um, and then I run out of time. Like I said, I'm so... You know, I was so working that one play without even thinking. Then when I get into another play, uh, or happen to pick another play, uh, I run out of time. So, real cool. Uh, but either way, so we're going to step up here. I mean, I got a lane, and I don't know if I should have dove or not. If I would have dove, he probably would have fumbled too. But honestly, if I would have dove, he probably would have fumbled out the back of the end zone and completely screwed me. So, here, we're going to run this. I don't know how we got off that block, man. It looked like he had him if I leveraged. Like, where's your heart, 15? Finish that block, bro. So, third and goal. Once again, this is not a play that I run too much, but for whatever reason, I get smart. And I don't even know who, I don't even know what I saw there. You know what I'm saying? I just chuck up a pick in the end zone. That's so embarrassing, being on the one yard line and not being able to score. It is what it is. So this dude here, uh, I'm sending this blitz. Like, I'm still sending crazy blitzes. Uh, but I really should have been just, I mean, there's one blitz play, which maybe I, you know, I probably didn't send enough. Uh, second to 15 there, knocked the ball out. Uh, but like I said, I, I mean, I, this on the defense here, I get a little vanilla. Like right here, using this cover two. This isn't even a cover two blitz. This is, I think I'm using the same Tampa two back. Um, and I don't know what he's doing there. Uh, but typically I would have picked that ball. But it is what it is. I mean, the, a punt or a pick in that scenario is pretty much the same thing. I probably would have got the ball in the same area. Uh, but it works out for me. So here we got Dorset, 92, scary fast Dorset. And he's just getting outside and burning everybody. Look at this punter, man. Has he got a broken leg or something? Like, did he break his leg on that on that ball? Like, what kind of effort is that, man? You are fired, man. I would Like, if I had a punter like that, I'd get a new, <laughs> get a new one. <laughs> so then the next play, well, look at my head stick, man. My, my timing is just trash right now as I tried to hit. The, first of all, I'm like five yards away. So what am I doing? You know what I'm saying? And I the, look at the computer do a better job than that. Um, as I give up on the on the very next play, I, I get a little bit of luck, 
and take a punt the other way, and then I just give him give him the ball right back. It is what it is. Um, so here we're threading the needle on that square out. Um, that play, like I said, this play here is funny, like because this play used the number one route on this play used to be the tight end and the square and the circle route were like so money. Now it's the streaking tight end. I mean, the square route was always good, but the streaking tight end is so money. And here we go. We got that Tampa two set up again. Anytime I see that Tampa two, bruh, it's over. This is, this adjustment is just so dirty over the top. Unless they got like Deion Sanders out there or something. I'm guessing. Uh, but that's a really good adjustment. Like I said, if you guys want to see that play breakdown, uh, hit the like button. I'll do that. I already did this play, but it's just adjustable to beat anything. So we're going to go ahead. And like I said, if I wanted to do that, that same, I don't know why I wasn't doing that adjustment consistently because it's there. Uh, but here, you know, I, I could have flipped the play and really easily done that. But for whatever reason, I didn't do that. So taking off with Mariota down to the uh, second and one uh, we got to punch it in here though you know that's moving the ball hasn't been my problem the problem is once i get to a position where like this where i start getting creative and look at that man like i switched the play like why did i not just run that play that play is like a, is, it just wins games for me and i decide to get cute and switch it up and i throw a pick so it is what it is i mean it's it's that's not like that wasn't a good play too but i, I obviously should have stuck with it so 14 to 7 i'm down he's got ball and i'm pretty sure he gets ball after half so it'd be really nice to get a stop here uh, if my defense can stand tall. Uh, 14 to 7 is not the way that I want to go in a half either, <laughs> but uh, typically, especially if I'm not getting ball, but he's going to float it up. Look at that adjustment, man. I, he, I'm lucky that I wasn't caught and taken to the house. Like that, like, I don't know what's wrong with my timing. If you guys watch enough of my gameplay videos, you know that when the ball's in the air, it's my ball. Uh, here, luckily, I get a little bit better. Although sometimes my man comes through with those two. Third and ten, though, he catches me sleeping. I, I take the underneath route. Look at that, man. Cover two right up the middle. I, why am I even running cover two? Luckily, uh, the computer can tackle because I probably would have missed the way that I'm playing right now. Still sending these blitzes, and you know what? The worst time in the world to send a blitz is against that screen. It's not really the way to go, but you know what? Hey, I, uh, at least I got off and, and kept him out of the end zone. Uh, but here we go. So now... You know what I'm saying? This is my man right here. And you know what? That's just just such bullshit. Like, I, I save a touchdown before half, but I could have scored one. If I had let the computer do it, it probably would have scored one. But you never know. Sometimes the computer doesn't do it. So here, I don't know why I was thinking to not. I take that guy off of outside contain and basically give up a touchdown. This is some stupidity on my part. Like, I, for, I don't know. For real, I thought that I was going to run inside and make the tackle and blow him up or something. That was just dumb. You know what I'm saying? I totally... I'm just making like such catastrophic mistakes and that's why I'm down 21-7 so bad position to be in we're going to go ahead we're going to ratchet it up again we're going to just basically now that I'm down two touchdowns I don't see myself using anything but this play This and that adjustment was there everything was open but uh, the blitz gets in I mean I, I could have hit square for a big play I'm not square uh, X for a big play uh, Dorsett was probably there I don't really know but I was staring down that tight end is what it is uh, but we're definitely uh, not in a good position here. So uh, we got to run hurry up pretty much this entire time down two scores in the third. I mean, these are four minute quarters. If you don't play much, four minute quarters doesn't leave you a lot of time. So we got to go score. Um, and you can see, I mean, even making all these adjustments, I'm killing time. It would have been better off just letting it go to huddle. So here we go. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hit that uh, that triangle route. Like I said, that's a really good route. Every route on here is good. I'd say the worst route is probably uh, what uh, the circle route's doing right now. Um, well, not right now, but yeah, the circle route. What the circle route is doing right now is probably the worst route out of all of them. But like I said, it's a really good cover to adjustment. So, uh, so we're gonna keep running this up. We gotta get this ball off quicker though. Uh, so here, I mean, the R1 route is so good too, and I probably could have turned up and got a lot more. But it is what it is. Uh, ran out of bounds. You know, what I'm saying, I'm just trying to avoid getting tackled because I want to make sure I caught that. Who knows? If I'd have turned up and tried to go for that score, he might have just like blazed me, and, and I might have dropped it. So here, triangle route in the corner. You know what I'm saying? That play, like I said, that's just anytime you run Tampa 2, that is murder. And uh, there we just we just knock it out. So now I gotta play some defense. My defense has not been on point. Uh Tariq Cohen, man, that's the same Tariq Cohen I got. He's so nasty. Uh the 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 scary fast Tariq Cohen. He catches me off guard a little bit. Uh, he probably could have lofted that up for a big play, but he throws it to Cam Chancellor and just like that, I'm in business. Cam Chancellor, man, I love these safeties. They're just they're just my entire team. My secondary is my team. And then on the next play, he just doesn't have anybody out. Like he messed up the adjustment, and there was nobody out on my guy. So just like that, tied up. Uh, you know, I'm in, I'm in a position where I feel like I'm stealing one right here. Uh, and now, you know, I punch him in the mouth. I gotta keep it going that way. Uh, I can't give up. You know, I want to get this ball back right away. And uh, I mean, it's big on him at this point because. 
because the momentum is so important. He's going to float this up and my man at water. That's why you got to have six foot three safeties out there, man. I, and then I get tripped up with my dudes. Like, that's the worst. Get out of my way, bro. Let me get a return. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just that's just the worst. But anyway, so here we go. Uh, I'm, I'm playmaking this up. He catches it, but he's out of bounds, so I get nothing for that. So, you know what? Going right back to the money play, man. This play right here, until he figures it out, I really got to make this up. And then here, I make the cover to the Tampa 2 adjustment. And look at this. Right over the top. Dropping a dime, and my man can't catch. That was Philip Dorsett. You know what I'm saying? He's fast, but and that's why I had him out there, because I wanted him to get past that coverage but you got to be able to catch so r1's wide open here probably could have had to catch and run but so was 85 and then mariota just pass leads it horribly and i get nothing out of that possession so i uh, got to punt away give it to my man he's got ball you know what i'm saying somebody's gotta 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 raise up this pressure what happened to my guy there he just fall over you know what i'm saying was i trying to hit stick that far away that was just terrible um so here we get some nice double pressure from the outside i was probably sending a straight up blitz uh, straight up crazy blitz there from uh, from outside and you can see how it works out um, then here he's rolling out look at that man that's just disgusting like he's just i wouldn't get a throw like that philip rivers apparently can do that but mariota cannot do that so he's still trying to run uh we're not letting him run anymore though if you notice the run has been clamps lately um here he's just got so many options <laughs> this is my cover too is just getting exposed right now uh, but that's um you know what are you gonna do i mean i i, I felt like my defense was stepping up uh, and then we're just we're just getting leaky again. So uh, Cohen about to pass 100 yards. The three Cohen card is just so dirty. And here, you know what I'm saying? I played it good. He probably should have threw that over the middle. He probably would have had a score. But he's taking the safe routes, especially since I'm, I'm sending so much heat. He's checking down. Um, here now, he's inside the five. Not a lot of time on the clock. Uh, my offense is doing pretty good, but I'm thinking in terms of I can't let this guy score. So I'm sending some straight house blitzes against this run. And he's running a hurry up, uh, which, you know, to me says he's probably going to run just run the ball again. So I'm still sending the house on this next play, and it comes through for me big time. Boom, look at that. It sucks in right there. Uh, you know, I think that's uh, Joe Hayden getting the play. And he's running to hurry up again. Third and goal. You know what I'm saying? Go to, the, go to the huddle, man. Not only that, we should be trying to kill clock on me, considering. But uh, he doesn't do it. So he's got plenty of options here, but I'm, I'm kind of covering the middle pretty good. And then I get that pressure, uh, and we you know give him a field goal, but that's fine. So now I get ball back. Real clutch, first play. First play, I'm giving up uh, a penalty. Uh, still seeing that Tampa 2 out there. He's not going to learn, so we're going to keep taking it. And, uh, you know what I'm saying, that's like a lot of people, man, they, they, they don't know. that Tampa 2 is pretty shut down, but these, these adjustments for Tampa 2 are just so money. Um, so here, I don't know why I'm running hurry up because I really shouldn't be thinking in terms. I should be thinking in terms of killing clock two, but I don't want to leave that uh, that Tampa two man. I'm gonna keep trying to set that Tampa two beater. And then on this next play, I don't know if he learned if he switched the play or what, because I'm pretty sure this Tampa two adjustment wasn't there. Hit my tight end over the middle. Nice catch. You know what I'm saying? Finally hanging on to it. Nice safe catch there. You gotta hang on to that ball. That's that's the biggest thing, you know. So here, Tampa 2 again, Tampa 2 again, and it looks like it might be a cover 4 because it's not there. So I take the underneath route, and we're just going to do this and kill a little bit of clock, which I, you know, I probably should have stayed in bounds in retrospect, uh, but you never know. I never know how much time I'm going to need. I got all my timeouts, though. I know that. So we're going to go ahead, a uh, minute left, and we're going to take these underneath. We're going to keep taking these checkdowns. Now, I think he's running cover 4, so if you're going to do that, we'll take these checkdowns down to the 2. Uh, we're going to try to punch it in here. He's got some crazy looking defense. Um, and I just, I don't get the land. I get a yard. If I had maybe hit that circle button a little bit quicker, I might have got in. But he knows I'm about to score. He's calling timeouts. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's, he, he knows it's, uh, it's about to be uh, a four point down from him. So here in the next play, I make a read. I, I, I motion over and I don't like how it looks. So I switch it up a little bit. I make a read. Uh, and we're going to go outside. You know what I'm saying? I was going to go inside, but we're going to go outside now. Luckily, my man there. Just gets an epic crucial block and springs me. Otherwise, I'd have been in trouble. And I think that was Agent Peterson, who's not really the best dude. It might have been Tevin Coleman. I'm not sure, but he's not really. If it was Agent Peterson, he's not the best guy to take it outside. So here he goes for this on the worst time. He tries to safe catch it. He thought he was inside. He probably was. I had that happen to me. But that's the worst time in the world for that to happen because he's on his back right now <laughs> the one-yard line. First play, though, he gets out of it. Second play, though, I told him right there and mess it up. I, I can't let my lack of user skills, my fumbling fingers, cost me today. He's only got one timeout, though, which is good. I made him use them both uh, early. So, you know, here he's got to get a lot of real estate quick, So I, and I know that. So I'm dropping back. Cover two again. He throws it up, and that's right. Game over. My man gets the pick. Cam Chancellor. That's why, like I said, man, you need these six foot three, six foot four safeties out there uh, patrolling it, and that's it. He's going to quit after that. 
Uh, which, you know, what's the point of sticking around? It was Weekend League, man. Get on to the next game. So that's it. If you guys want to see more gameplay, let me know and hit the like button. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below.